Hi, this is the Little Rooster's Diamond Button. It's a photo from Hungary, retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald. That's me, and Will Terry made the pictures. It's a really easy story to tell, and you can also find it in my book, 20 Tellable Tales, so you can get a copy just anywhere. Listen up and see if you can tell it too. Somewhere, someplace, across the seven seas, lived a little old lady and her little pet rooster. They were very poor, but they were very happy. One day the rooster went out to peck out something to eat. He pecked and he pecked and he pecked and he pecked and he pecked out a diamond button. Cock-a-doodle-doo, said the little rooster. I like diamond buttons. I'll take it home to my good mistress because she likes diamond buttons too. He picked it up in his beak and he started to walk home. But just then, along came the king. Whoa, he was a very big man. He wore big baggy trousers. His pants were so big, he had to have three servants walk behind him and hold up his pants so he could walk. He came walking down the road and the servants came behind, holding up his pants. He saw the little rooster and he wanted that diamond button for himself. He said, catch that little rooster and take his diamond button away from him. Put it in my treasure chamber in the palace. They caught the little rooster, took his diamond button away, and put it in the king's treasure chamber in the palace. The little rooster was so angry, you can imagine how he felt. He flew right to the king's palace. He perched on the windowsill and he called out, Cock-a-doodle-doo, 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 give me back my diamond button. The king was angry. He was mad. He said, catch that little rooster and throw him in a well full of water. I'll get rid of him. And they threw him kersplash into a well full of water. But little rooster called out, he had a magic stomach. He said, come my magic stomach, come my empty stomach, drink up all the water from the well. His stomach began to drink. <laughs> he drank up all the water in the well. It couldn't hurt him at all. He flew right back to the king's palace, perched on the windowsill, and he called out, cock-a-doodle-doo, 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 give me back my diamond button. The king was angry. Catch that rooster and throw him into the fire. I can get rid of him. They threw him in the fire, but he called, mm -hmm. come my full stomach, come my full stomach, spit out all the water from the well, put out the fire. Psh his stomach spit out all the water, it put out the fire, couldn't hurt him at all. He flew right back to the king's palace. He perched on the windowsill and he called out, cock-a-doodle-doo, 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 give me back my diamond button. The king was furious. Catch that rooster, throw him, throw him in the beehive where the bees live. Let the bees sting him. They caught the little rooster and threw him in the beehive. But he called, cut my empty stomach. Come my empty stomach, eat up all the bees. <laughs> they couldn't sting his magic stomach. He flew right back to the king's palace. He perched on the windowsill and he called out, cock-a-doodle-doo, 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 give me back my diamond button. The king was infuriated. Catch that rooster, bring him to me. What'll I do with him? And the first servant said, if I were you, I would chop his head off. The second servant said, if I were you, I would hang him from a tree. And the third servant said, if I were you, I know what I would do. I would sit on him and squash him. It was a good idea because he was a very big king. He said, catch that little rooster, drop him in the big bag on my baggy pants behind, and I'm going to sit on him and squash him. They caught the little rooster and dropped him in the big bag on the king's baggy pants behind, and he started to sit on him. But the little rooster called, Come my full stomach, come my full stomach, spit out all the bees.
keys and sting that king. He was jumping around the throne room. He said, catch that little rooster, take him to my treasure chamber and let him have his old diamond button. I don't want to see him again. They took the little rooster and they left him all alone in the king's treasure chamber. They said, take your diamond button and go along home. Little Rooster looked around. He saw all the diamonds, all the emeralds, all the gold and silver, all the rubies in the king's treasure chamber. He said, this is the treasure the king has been stealing from the people all these years. Well then, come my empty stomach, come my empty stomach, eat up all the treasure in the king's treasure chamber. His stomach ate up all the diamonds, all the emeralds, all the gold and silver, and he waddled home and gave it all to his good mistress. And they lived happily and richly ever after.